Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dishonored. I think I'll be okay to leave those saves. It's kind of ludicrous that he can see and I can hear him. All right, you good, Sammy? From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Oh yeah, he gives you a little Maybe spiel on every guy after safe. after he uh, uh, after you kill him. Shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I am. Okay, let's go. I got a bunch of other things besides that one that I missed, but that was like you know a big deal that I had missed it. Well. Missed a lot of coins. That's fine. But yeah, so it's possible to kill him, like, with a, uh, the, the, uh, I forget exactly what they said, but there's, like, four main playthroughs. One is, like, complete non-entity. You may as well have not even been there. You don't kill anyone. Uh, you don't even let anyone get killed. And no one knows you were there. Um, I think there's a setting where, like... He's alive. Skipping that. Um, I think there's a setting where, or, uh, uh, a playthrough where, like, you don't kill anyone. Then there's, like, heal no matter what. And then, I guess, genocide playthrough, which is what I'm doing. Oh, then I guess you can also kill just your targets. Because it's totally possible to, like, play through the whole game and then just, like, slit the throat of every single person. Can I be of service to you? Oh, here's another thing, actually. Every time you kill one specific guy... Um... The specific, like, special characters that you kill, if you kill them with a sword, they actually have unique um, animations. Every single one of them has a, if I remember right, every single one of them has a unique animation. Um... So, like, if we would have actually sliced the overseer, the high overseer, open, then we would have got a unique, um, we would have gotten a unique piece of dialogue. Or not dialogue. We would have gotten a unique, um, animation for that slash. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. The state depends on you. Hey, they still think my mana's low. I always like it whenever, um... Like, you can be assured that you will start the next mission at zero. You know, no no harm done. Fully type, uh, fully topped off. That's always, uh, uh, convenient. But just fine, workable metal ore just out in the street. Nuts. Also, this is another thing that I think they borrowed from Human Revolution, but in Deus Ex Human Revolution, your uh, augs, your augmentations, your robot cyborg bits, uh, if you prefer, are powered by a little battery in the top left corner. And you can get more batteries that go on there. Um, Hello, skipping this. You can get more batteries that go there, and you can make more of them regenerate, but by default, all you have is two, and one of them will regenerate, and the other one won't. But the thing is, is that they will regenerate. Yeah. So there's actually piranhas in these rivers, which is, like, super fun.
I keep wanting to use the uh, the other stick. For some reason, I want to use the left stick. Canonically, the reason that Corvo does not get sick and is never at any risk of plague is because he wears a mask. Yes, that's canon. The big scary mask, in addition to, you know... Granting him optical superiority and the ability to see very well. Uh, it does filter out all of the bad stuff you might find. Was it? What is it that they want? You know, this is actually the first game I remember, uh, like, really installing Blink into my vocabulary. Because obviously, Blink meaning a very short teleport is, like, fairly common. You know, the idea that, like, you could have walked there, but... You know, if somebody blinked, they might literally miss you teleporting and might think that you had just walked. Hmm. Let's get this, honestly. Because I am killing a lot of guys. We will not get this. Um, because, like, it is super useful if you're doing kill playthroughs. Um, and I believe that if you turn a guy to Ash... That's weird. Uh, that's one of the piranhas. I believe that if you turn a guy to Ash, he does not, like, count for the body count. That's the thing, because it's not just, like more rats versus less less rats or more plague versus less plague it's it's a bit more than that at least um um so i know that like yeah, I talked about, in the second episode, I talked about, like, does what count as what? You know, if you kill a guy and then his body disappears, he can't feed, you know, a, a, a rat. No one will have any interest in, you know... No one will have any interest in him. You know, just because he's, like dead does not magically mean more plague will just happen. Hmm. Maybe we'll figure it out later. Hello, Martin. Waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. Corvo. Corvo. The two men in question are that man's brothers. Um, I described them as being twin brothers earlier, and I want to say episode two. Golden cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. The golden cat is a brothel. Um. Yeah, I described them as being twins earlier, and I'm not actually sure if they're twins. They might be triplets. However, it might be a thing where like. He was an only child, and then twins showed up, and the fact that they're twins means that, like, they're cool. Or he was born afterwards, and he wasn't a twin, so who cares? Unclear, you know? So in this, we're not killing anyone, but we do have the... Or actually, no, we are... Yeah, we can kill the Pendletons. Um... So the non-lethal kill for this is we 
Uh, we knock both brothers unconscious. Yeah. Lord Pendleton asks, Hey, don't kill my brothers. I know that they're dicks, but they're still my brothers. I don't want them dead. The thing is, is that I think this was a thing that they did. They pushed for, like, slavery. They pushed for, like, legal slavery. So, like, if somebody is sold into slavery, then, you know, that's a legally binding contact. Yep. So I think we actually got this in both, but this is a high chaos action. Where now there's so many more weepers in the city. Oh, they're harmonizing. I love that dude's outfit. Yeah. This is the bloodlust thing. God, I gotta go, like, slash one in the crotch of a tree or something. Just getting so feral and aggro. Uh-huh. Yoink. Goodies. Uh, anyway, so I think that they, like, pushed the, the guy in charge of the city now, the High Regent, Lord Regent. I think they were like, hey, wouldn't it be great if slavery was legal? And he was like, I don't see why not, sure. But the thing is, is that you can only be a slave if you are branded as a slave. So, similar to the other ones, we brand them as slaves. Also, a little bit of asset reuse here. I love this line, the boldest measures are the safest. Um, yeah, a little bit of asset reuse there. Because uh, we do go back to the same place, but we go through a different area, which I like. I need more than three guys at a time. Come on, the bloodlust is taking over me. Hi. You may remember these guys from the intro. These are the Whalers. Um, not as in Bob Marley and the. They, uh, these are the outfits that you wear to gut whales and get the goodies out of them. They are so cool. As a design, that is so styling. I legitimately just adore that. And, like, I love that it is a... Uh, that it is a, like, working class, like, garment that has now been revitalized and exists in a new context as an assassin's garb. That's so cool. I would say I would want a whole game about them. Hello. Really? You gonna do me like that in the frozen time? Once you like properly get real time stop. Ooh. Clean living. Once you get proper real time stop, you can actually do that Dio stuff again. Oh, I don't think I ever finished that idea earlier. Um, as I mentioned, there's a JoJo fighting game, um, that has really iconic sound effects. Uh, but the reason that I mention it is because 
that character from JoJo has the ability to stop time. Um, and his, you know, equivalent in the fighting game also can stop time. So there's this other really, really cool video somebody made called Out of Dio's World. The character's name is Dio. Spoilers, but Dio's power is to stop time. Um, dude, one of my friends... You just need a bit. Even though JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is now, like, so well-known, my friend Robert did not, I, I think, he did not know that, um... He fully was not aware that Dio's power was time stop. And, like, it is technically a spoiler, or a twist even, that, like, that sort of power is even possible. Um, but it is still, you know, cool. Anyway, somebody made a video called Out of Dio's World. Uh, the power that allows Dio to stop time is called the world, for those who don't know. I don't know why. I like to, to give a good baseline because sometimes I'm talking about something that only I've heard of. I don't have a particularly large audience, so sometimes it's good for me to, you know, not make assumptions about what people have seen and what they know. Um, but, like, Joseph's Bizarre Adventure is, like, one of the most well-known anime of all time. And one of the most popular. <coughs> Messy. Couldn't have been better. Way I figure. That Sorry. Is a leech. Uh, failed. Right. This this fails the mission. Yeah. Man, should I have done that? Chaos. It's a high chaos playthrough. The only rules is more chaos. Oh well, topped off. Well, then let's do that. I really love it whenever games um, permit you to just do something. Like, uh, uh, immediately. Like, off the top of my head, in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, if you're full on health, and then you pick up a health item, uh, it gets turned into XP for free. It just gets made into money. And if you're full on health items, but you're missing health... Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Uh, if you're full on health items, but you're missing health, and then you pick up a health item, Instead of saying can't pick up, it just automatically puts itself in your health bar. I think the reason that it doesn't do that in this game is because, um... I think the main reason that that does not happen when you play this game is because... If that happened for health, then it would set up... It, would, it might ruin things for, like, um... Like, low health, you know? Because uh, I think that there's a few things that you can do where, like... You have really low health, and that's, like, a strat. You know, a strategy. Cool. So what is that? Reinforced bolts. Oh, that's not bad. Though, the main thing about bolts is that they kill silently. 
And like, those are good, but I actually don't care about being silently. I do care about killing, and that does allow me to kill more efficiently. But bolts also require more aiming, so... Well, we'll consider it, but we can take off uh, stuff. shooting me Sam, where do you go? Get around him. You're gonna bleed, damn you. Boston, where are you? Also, yeah, that thing That thing that I that I thought where I was like, hmm, I probably need to talk to somebody to get that code. I was right. I needed to talk to somebody to get that code. How does it work? I hit the button to heal and then I didn't do it. Damn shame, I says. Okay, this time let's clear that guy who's going to keep shooting me out first. Bring me the next ones. <laughs> Always a shame. My god. <laughs> Stack of bodies a mile high. Why don't we deal with that a little? There you go, guys. Oh. They are messy eaters. Let's make a save, huh? How about that? I think I was talking about something and then totally blanked on it. Mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. 
effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. This looks like it, right? Come on. Come to dinner now, that's right, my sweet little bird. Hey, it's Granny Rags again. So what's that bone charm then? Healthy appetite and reinforced bolts. So once you get to a certain point on rat swarms, they like don't hurt you. Not that point. It is like there's too few of them to actually like attack. There's a bit that um, Kazuhiro Miller talks about eating whale meat, and it's something I always think about when the topic of eating whale comes up. This is the back door, we don't need to take it. Um, whale is not a particularly ethical meat. Um, uh, oh, that's sad. Yeah, whale has almost never been like a particularly like ethical meat. Um, anyone who has played Assassin's Creed Four knows that like getting a whale is a lot of work. Um, the thing is, is that like you can't capture them like you can a cow. They can't be herded. Um, because they live in the water, they can't you know stay in anywhere that a, that a human has built for them. Um. Oh, God. This is all that's left of that pile. Just pants. Or no, just... Not even a torso. Just legs and groin. Ugh. Gnarly. Um. There's no easy way to get a whale uh, uh, up to you. And, like, the only thing that you can kind of do to get a whale to you is, um... Like, to spear it and then haul it onto the boat. Which is, like, super, super painful, obviously. Like, that is, like, excruciatingly painful for the, for the whale. Um... The thing is, is that when you're starving to death... You gotta eat something, or you'll die. Thus, the nature of starving to death, right? So... Well, what's a guy to do? And the thing is, is that... Right. That thing. Yeah, you can't let, like, everyone on your... You can't let everyone on the crew just starve, because that would be terrible. Um... Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about what happens to the Pendletons, right? You can't let everyone on the crew starve because that would be terrible and then you wouldn't be able to get home at all. And like, then what would be the point? So a lot of people would just get a whale, no matter how painful it was to the whale, because like, back in the day, it's not like people were particularly like, you know, good to any animal of any species. Ah! 
Help me out. Nice. Um. Yeah, back in those days, you know, Temple Grandin hadn't been born yet, naturally. You know, in the age of piracy. That would be something I would like to see. Um, so people were not really good about uh, being nice to animals. They would just let anything happen to them. Uh, so it didn't really matter that, you know, you were eating whale meat. The thing is, is that in the modern era, it is possible to kill animals way more humanely. You know, and there's a lot of things where, like, you can get them off the animal without killing it. I'm actually wearing an alpaca fur scarf. I met the alpaca that the wool came off of. It was pretty awesome. My wife took me up to this alpaca farm for my birthday. Because I love alpacas. They're, like, my fifth favorite animal. Let me, let me... One sec. I met the the alpaca that this guy's based on. Look at the eyelashes. They're so long. Um, Yeah, so it's possible to now get, you know, ethically sourced stuff. You don't need to, you know, murder or beat your sheep like you used to maybe have to back before the internet and stuff. Uh, and so it's a lot... Oops. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot easier to get those things now. Um... And so when you look at whale meat, it's like kind of hard to justify, you know, because like, well, whale is now the only meat where you have to like violently, violently mutilate the animal just to get some, you know, because there's like not really a safe way to get whale meat. And if we're, oh, this is interesting. We now have a bounty separately for... Corvo and for miscellaneous masked men. Because they can't link those two things together. Uh, yeah, so it's like completely impossible to ethically source whale meat at all. Um, no, let's save it, actually. I kind of want to stick with what I have. Maybe I'll get some more normals here. Um, and maybe I'll just upgrade those. Ooh, it's that really cool whistling wind noise. Um, but yeah, so anyway, like, animal rights activists and, like, you know, people who don't want to see the oceans, like, what the? Those spikes actually hurt me. Just talking about whales here and, huh. I, I don't know what to say. Let's sit. See, it's really hard to source whale. Um, but the thing is, is that for a couple hundred years, nobody cared. People would just, you know, eat whale anyway. Um, and Kazuhiro, Kazuhiro Miller talks about, like, eating whale and, like, how good it was. And it was like, what if butter was meat? That's what it is. That's what whale tastes like. And, like, God, that sounds delicious. I would love to try it. But, like, it is so unethical to eat whale. I would like how this statue is, like, most of a woman. I wonder if it is, like, trying to say something. But, like, hell, I don't know. Where 
Luckily, this is the sleep dart. Where did they go? Is this guy dead? Hell, I don't know. All right, let's grab this upgrade. Um, Morgan will be in there all night. More coin for us. Though we'd make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. Like sleep. Huh. The bras floating in the water is pretty funny. Um, but he talks about how like even though it was so unethical and like so awful, it was still super good. Like he loved. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But he loved eating whale meat, you know? Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was... And, like, that's a, that's a damn shame. Because, like, he'll never be able to enjoy it again. And, like, maybe he even shouldn't. Because, like, oh my god, eating whale is so unethical. Um, don't ask for credit. That's funny. But yeah, that's what I think about whenever I think about eating whale. I think about how, like, how good whale is. I think about the things that people have said about how delicious whale is. I think about how it was, like, a stable food for hundreds of years. Um... Oh, hey. Pardon me. I have something to do. Um, and even though, like... Shh. It's a blood choke. You'll be okay. Uh, yeah, even though all of those things are definitely true, like, it is still super unethical. But the idea of being nostalgic for something that, like... Are you nostalgic for the food? Are you nostalgic for, like, not caring or knowing if it was unethical? Are you, like... Yeah, we'll get to that next episode. Alright, I'll fire back. You okay? Okay. I really think I will kill enough people without me, you know, murdering a bunch of random prostitutes. God, they're fucking me up. Damn. I just have to get better at parrying. I guess, like, seeking my targets. But yeah, whenever I think about, like, eating whale, that's what I think about. I think about Kazuhiro Miller, like, nostalgic for something. I like rotating my saves, even though I have so damn many of them. Huh. I need help. I want to let me let me load this because I want to see if like I actually get a, a unique kill like I said I did. Yep, here we go. Please. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. That's why this is, like, so cool. Oh, on this one. Um, that's part of why this is so cool, but the thing is, is that we don't actually need to get our hands bloody. We can knock him out and leave him for Slackjaw, if Slackjaw wasn't dead. But he's in the steam room. And I will stick with that as my cannon for this because it gets the most people dead. I love that when you go to slit his throat, he's like aware of, of what you're doing just before it happens. Because like you grab him and overpower him and then you put the knife to him. And he's like, oh, this is happening, huh? <laughs> Anyway, I got very rambly this episode. Pardon me. Um, I got to go put this back on my shelf. And I'm trying to only do shorter episodes. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Dishonored. Uh, bye. <laughs>